hi welcome back so this is one of the final video of this whole series i have received a lot of love and support from you guys it was your support which made me to complete this series up to 10 videos and i will definitely try to create more videos around ck exam questions as i am going to discover more questions i am going to create more content around it so please keep supporting stay subscribed and let's jump to the final question of this series this question is about networking policy networking will be one of the section in ck exam and there will be definitely one question around it so you need to understand network policy really well and i suggest you to go through the documentation and, and understand all terminologies related to network policy apart from that i want to give one suggestion around networking this networking section will have one question at least and at max there will be two questions and if you are quite confident about the remaining sections and remaining type of questions then you can skip networking just for clearing the exam you don't need to spend too much time solving the networking question just keep it for the end because generally networking policy questions are lengthy from where you need to allow the access and to which ips you should allow the access and on which port so you need to create that policy and it takes time so this is just a suggestion but if you are quite confident about this topic then feel free to attempt the question at your own pace but if you are not quite confident and familiar with network policy then just keep it for the end part of the exam and try to solve it in the last couple of minutes so let's jump into the question so this is our question number 18 the weightage of this question is 11 percent because as i said networking policy questions could be a bit lengthy and there could be smaller questions as well so depending on the scenario please take your decision whether you want to attempt it in the first go or you want to keep it for later this particular question is of 11 percent weightage the question is create a network policy named apichip in default namespace so suppose there is a pod and you want to allow traffic to this pod from somewhere so this is ingress it is coming from somewhere so from is the keyword here and you need to use this from keyword in the network policy this is to remember like which keyword to use where so you are allowing traffic from somewhere and then from this pod you are allowing traffic to somewhere else so two is the keyword here you are allowing traffic from this pod to somewhere else so two will be the keyword that will be used in egress kind of policy so these are the two policies being asked here so the ingress should block traffic from an ip range so the ingress policy will block traffic from an ip range of our own choice except some other ip range so we need to allow one ip range and we need to block some other ip range and then it should also have namespace and pod selector so the range which we are allowing or denying should consider namespace and pod selector as well and the ports on which ingress policy should be applicable is 6379 this is the port and then we need to create an egress policy and it should allow traffic for an ip range of your own choice and on port 5978 so this is it this is the question now let's jump to the kubernetes documentation here is networking policy so this is a simple policy which we will copy and which we will use but here are certain terminologies, mandatory fields, spec, port selector, policy type, ingress, egress. You need to select all these. I'm not going to explain all these in this video. But while creating the policy, I will explain the policy structure so that it will be easy to understand, to read data from the question and apply it in the policy. So let's go ahead and copy this one. And let's jump to our playground. Here I will simply create a policy network.yml and let's paste the content here so the kind is network policy name is apichip namespace is default and we have been asked to create it in the default namespace so namespace is default port selector we are just going to use the role db which is given in the example itself then we need to have two types of policy that is ingress and egress coming on to the first one that is ingress we need to allow traffic from an ip range so from is the keyword here as i explained before now we need to allow traffic from this ip block and the cidr range is this one if given in the question some ip range then you should pick that ip range and put it here and then there is accept so we need to block traffic 
yeah as per the question we should block traffic from an ip range so we are using ip block so we are blocking traffic from this ip range except this ip range so as mentioned in the question here please take a look at the question block traffic from an ip range of your choice except some other ip range so we are putting an exception that this ip range should not be blocked and then we are being asked to have namespace and pod selector so here we have namespace selector which should match some label so as of now we have not been given any specific label so i'm just using the default one which is given in the exam and then there is pod selector also which should also sudden label i'm specifying the same label as been present in the example and this should apply on port 6379 so our ingress definition is complete here now coming on to the egress definition so egress should allow traffic to a particular ip range and the ip range is this one you can put any other ip range if asked in the exam then it should work on 5978 so this is all given in the question and we have already applied it in this yml file let's go ahead and save this and then apply it kubectl apply hyphen f network dot yml and the policy is created let's try to get it kubectl get network policy api chip so as you can see api chip network policy is created you can describe this as well kubectl describe network policy api chip so here you will get all the specification pod selector and the ingress and the egress everything is mentioned here and the policy types are ingress and egress so this is a very brief way of attempting the question related to network policy feel free to explore the documentation and practice certain questions around network policy to get comfortable with so this is all for this question thanks for watching So this is it for this question. I'm really humbled with all your support that I'm getting. Please stay subscribed and like the video.